Hey guys, I just got to my campsite, had a bit of a walk, it was pretty good. Um, I was actually going to look a bit further uh, and walk around more, but I noticed, if you can see behind me, there's this tree. Looks like it fell pretty recently. Everything's still green on it. And if you guys saw my gear video, uh, you'll know that I didn't bring a sleeping pad, I didn't bring a sleeping bag, and what well, I figure is I could cut off some of those branches, actually use them on my makeshift bed. So I'm probably gonna stay around here a bit, collect a bunch of those, and then look around uh, a little bit later for some logs and get that set up eventually. Uh, it's still pretty early, it's like uh, 6.50 in the morning and it's gonna be a while till I have to sleep, but I mean, if you have a resource like this, you might as well use it early on. So I'm gonna be doing that for a little bit and I'll get back to you guys. I've got my Laplander here. First time I'm using it. Uh, see how it is and uh, if I could get a decent amount of branches off of this thing. I really do want to have a comfy bed tonight. Ooh, that's good. Nice and fast. Let me get as much as I can. Really just looking for the, the ends of these branches here. So that's where you know, it's not as stiff and it should be more comfortable to sleep on. All right, this is actually really, it's a really good saw. Happy I got it. Do a nice haul of branches. And I'm gonna, I guess, leave them somewhere for now and then deal with them a bit later before I go to sleep. All right, so I got all these branches to where I think I'm gonna be camping out. Um, this seems like a pretty good site. It's kind of far from the trails as far as I know. And uh, there's a lot of deadfall around here, which I'm gonna need for my fire and for my bed. So I'm gonna start chopping up some of these sticks here, some of these fallen trees and uh, I guess start building my frame.
I just finished my bed, it took me, I would say like an hour and a half to build. Um, still have to test it, but hopefully it's comfortable. Let's see how it is. It's actually not bad. I mean, I, I have one of those uh, travel pillows for my neck, so I shouldn't get like prickly stuff on me too much. Right now there's a lot of sun, but I mean, at night it's not gonna be a problem. Now, what I'm gonna be doing is building my fire pit. I found this area right here. Seems like it's a really good place to build, simply because it has these rocks here that are at a 90 degree angle. And all I really have to do is have like a circle of stone right here and just, you know, kind of clear away all this uh, brush and stuff. So this is where I'm gonna have my fire. My bed is right over there. It's not too far away um, Since I mean my bed is a bit far uh, in terms of actually getting heat from the fire when I'm asleep But I don't think I'm really gonna need it uh, I'm probably just gonna like cook some food and then let the fire die down and then go to sleep because it's it's not too uh, not too cold here at night gets to around like 20 degrees Celsius maybe like 22 so I should be perfectly fine just sleeping on that so we get started
Nice. That's done. I moved moved my bed over here. So it's right next to the fire now. Um, probably could get some firewood. Could get some firewood and I guess kind of just chill out for a bit. I've been a bit busy. I didn't record what I was doing because my phone battery is really dying and I had to charge it. But it was getting really hot out here and I decided I would start building a bit of a lean-to. Helps a little bit. Um, see, it looks kind of nice. I could probably like weave some stuff in between it, but I'm not really going to bother. Cause it's already like 12, it's close to 12 o'clock now. And the sun is pretty much directly overhead, so it wouldn't really do me much good. And in addition to that, let me just get over here. So I've got my fire pit, got my fire pit all set up, and lots of firewood, a little bit of kindling over there. That's my tinder. And probably a little bit later in the afternoon, I'm going to. Uh, to start cooking my lunch and then when it gets tonight I'm gonna get my dinner going so I'll see you guys when that happens all right now I'm probably gonna be doing a full video on how to find fatwood at some point but I will do a little kind of intro to it now if you guys can see this this is punk wood. It's wood that you can, it's just really rotten and you could basically just break it up in your hand. But the really interesting thing about this specific one is if you look here, you could kind of, you try getting the wood away. You could kind of see like the middle part with the, uh, the branch system is still intact. And that's a pretty good indication that inside of this, it's a bit of a, kind of a big log, so I might have to like cut part of it. But this is a good indicator that there is fat wood in this. I want to try getting out as much as possible. Because fat wood doesn't rot. Or if it does, it doesn't do it nearly as fast as the rest of the tree. I'm going to try extracting it from here. I'm just hoping that enough of it's far enough gone. I can get this out of here. Without destroying it. Because it looks like there's a pretty big core. There it is. Right over here. Really starting to take shape. There we go. So as you can see, this here is the branch is the branch system, and that always just has like a ton of fat wood in it. I'll quickly get out my saw. Show you guys.
Hopefully this is actually fat wood. Sometimes the middle part might be too raw in a way. Not amazing. Which is unfortunate. Sometimes I find these and it's just absolutely full of the fat wood. I guess we didn't get too lucky this go around. There there is a little bit. You could see that the little bit of red in there, but it's not a whole lot. I'm just gonna try getting these off. These have fat wood in them. Yeah. There you go. Not a lot. You can see all this little, little tiny bits of red. Going to start making the bread now. We've got in here two cups of flour and one teaspoon of salt. This, as I said before, is three fourths a cup of water. And then I have some za'atar that I'm going to throw in as well. Now, I'm not going to be making the dough on camera just because it's probably going to be a huge mess and I don't want to get my camera all dirty. So I'll check back with you guys when I'm finished. All right, so I may have screwed up a little bit on the uh, on the dough. It's possible I added too much water, but I can't hold back on, um, on making the fire anymore because my hot dogs that I brought are completely defrosted and I have to get them on the, on the fire. So let me get this started up. Got my char tin, char cloth. Might be a little bit overkill, but it's probably fine. Just want to get a good piece. little nest here.
we go. That's hot. sticks up here. Start chucking those on. I'll get my bed of coals. Cook up the hot dogs. Hopefully. My dough will still work out. At least that's the plan. Still have many hours until it gets dark. I'm not sure if I'm going to be leaving this fire up the whole time or if I'm going to like build another one later. I'll have to see. I might just keep it. But I will most likely have to get some more logs and things. I showed how to do this in my last video, but I'm going to be doing it again just because I always like having a large supply of char cloth. Basically, in order to make char cloth, you need a tin with a little hole on top and something that is a natural material. So that could be like wool or um, cotton or something like that. What you want to do, roll it up, stick it in the char tin. Hopefully mine's not too big. There we go. Close the lid. Just gonna drop this right in here. 
and that should start smoking and then there should be some flame coming out of the tin. That's all the gas is burning off. The reason why this works is because there's not enough oxygen inside the tin, which doesn't allow the material to burn. It allows it to like to heat up and to release gases, but it can't burn unless you open up the lid while it's too hot. And then it just leaves a material that takes a, a spark very easily, as you guys saw how I lit the fire. So, just gonna leave this in here for a bit. Let it start to, uh, to smoke. I might even move it a tiny, tiny bit. Closer to the fire. It's practically in the fire, but... Oh, there we go. It has a little bit of smoke coming out. And then that smoke should catch fire. Time to cook up the hot dogs. They are a little defrosted, but that should be fine. And then I'm going to deal with the, uh, with the dough after. This one's looking pretty done. Just hope. I don't accidentally break the grate this time. Nice. Gonna give that one a little bit more on the other side. And then throw that in here. Still have more dough. I'm gonna be making some pizza later. This is going to be my very late lunch since it's already like close to five in the afternoon. But at least it isn't nearly as hot as it was before. There you have it, pigs in the blanket. Good stuff. So, I know this is a little cheaty, but I found some rosemary on the way over here. I figured I'd pick some, just add it to the, to the bread. This stuff, pretty much grown all over the place. It's not a wild um, plant, but I mean, it's in pretty much every garden, every park, all over the place. So I figured it would be a bit of a waste not to, uh, not to add some, because it tastes really good. Dangerous. 
I don't want my grate to fall again. Or I did once. My late lunch is ready. We've got two pigs in a blanket and a very hot pita. So, you see how those are? My, my hands are just caked with the dough, but there's not a whole lot I can do about that. See how it is? I didn't get to the hot dog part yet. <laughs> wow, it's really good. It tastes a lot like Zata. And I have these spicy hot dogs. Oh, wow. Whew. Spicy. That's really good. <sighs> well, I check the pizza. I think it still might be kind of hot. The inside is really doughy, but it tastes good. <laughs> the hot dogs are crazy though. Still feel it. And I still have my dinner, which is also going to be pretty spicy too. I'm really looking forward to that. Anyways. I'm going to eat and probably take a nap till it gets dark, start up a new fire, and then just cook my dinner whenever I get hungry. So, see you guys then. Sunset just started. We got this log here on the fire. I think I, it's, it's not a big log. It's like a tiny log that's been on there smoldering for like three hours now. I kind of wanted to test to see if I could just stick a log on and see how long I could keep it going for. Because I didn't want to build a fire again. At the same time, I didn't want to use up all my fuel because I wanted to use that for nighttime when I couldn't see anything. So basically what I did was I had the hot coals and I just stuck a log on it not split or anything, just a full log, <clears throat> and then just let it sit there. Didn't You don't blow on the embers because that would just ignite it. Just let it sit and it burns like this forever. I don't know if it always works like that, but if it does, it's a good tip. Also, um, over here, got that char tin that was in there. And my charcoal, uh, sorry, my char cloth finished. Let's see if I can get it out. Look at that. It's really nice. So I'm going to add this to my collection. Also, it sounds like someone's having like some kind of forest dance party or something it's really you know really messing up my immersion here which kind of sucks so yeah um 
I guess when it gets dark, I'm going to, hmm, when it gets dark, I'm probably going to, to get the fire back up and make my dinner because I want to be asleep by nine. Uh, I decide I'm going to be leaving a bit earlier than I was going to. I was going to, to leave at five in the morning but I am running a little bit lo low on water. I still have water, but I just don't want to get into a situation where I'm walking back and there's sunlight. So I'm gonna be leaving at four in the morning and I should get home at about 5.20ish, maybe a little bit more, because I actually have to get out of the campsite and um, clean up here and everything but sunrise is at 530 so I should be home before sunrise for just as it starts but yeah um, that's my plan anyways guess I'll see you guys when it's dinner Alright, hope you guys can see me. Um, I just started the fire back up. Um, I'm gonna wait for, for it to burn down a bit and then I'm gonna start making my dinner um, to hopefully finish that by like 9 o'clock and get to bed. Um, got some pretty good food planned so really looking forward to it. Um, I made some stir fry like um, that previous video that I did. Um, basically the same recipe. And I also have a, uh, a nice alcoholic beverage with me too. So I'm going to have both of those for dinner. And then go to sleep. Wake up early tomorrow to get back. Gonna be good. All right, I think the fire's just about ready. Get, just gonna get this pan on here. Have it heat up a tiny bit. are some mosquitoes out here that I noticed. A little annoying, but I made the fire a little bit smoky and then just stood in the smoke for a bit. Hopefully they'll keep them at bay. I wanna wait till this is actually hot because you got to have that satisfying sizzling sound when you put it on. If you don't have that, then I mean, it's not a waste, but it's not as fun. Yep, there we go. It's hot. Get all the garlics out. Come on, garlic. Get out of bed.
still hearing mosquitoes. That's not good. I hate mosquitoes. Then again, who doesn't hate mosquitoes? They're really annoying. my fork. I think it's in here somewhere. There it is. Oh damn, I got ants like all in my bag. It's not cool. That's not good. Alright. I got a lot of stir fry. I hope I'm gonna be able to finish all of it. Look how much there is. Actually, can you even see? You can't see. There we go. All that stir fry. So I'm gonna let that cook up and I'm gonna go get my drink because I'm thirsty and it's going to get warm. What I have today is some Strongbow apple cider. I don't know if you can see it. It's really tasty. Um, gotta find my bottle opener. Oh, nope. This is not a good one. I get the other one. Here we are. I'm gonna put this cap where my garbage is. Cheers, guys. It's still nice and cold. When I had the stir fry, I froze it and then stuck this in the bag with it. Alright, well, I'm going to drink this and check back with you guys when, uh, when the stir fry is done. You guys hear that? I think it's like wolves or jackals.
Sounds a bit creepy. I think they finished. The sounds of the forest. Oh, my stir fry's finished. If you can see here. Looks really good. Could be we give this a little try. Just got to find a good place to put it because uh, it's very hot. Oh. Dripping a little bit. Mmm. Oh yeah, that's good. That's really good. <sighs> Spicy too. Right, well. I'm going to finish this up. And I'm going to go to sleep. So, this is the last time you guys are going to see me tonight. And, um... Talk to you in the morning. Bye. Hey guys, so I'm getting ready to head out. Um, just waiting for the fire to die down and I'm going to destroy the uh, the shelter. Um, just clean up, up the area and head back home. Uh, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one.